Hey guys, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and this is Pat with Yamaha, and we're giving you our top five ATV sand riding tips for beginners. Tip number one is all about having the right goggles. So you wanna have some sand goggles. There's a couple reasons for this. Number one, you wanna have some goggles with some thicker foam. That's gonna help keep some of the sand out. And what kind of goggles do you like to run? I like the Oak Oakley Airbrake. Uh, the prism lens really helps bring out the contrast in the dunes. And it, the dunes can be tough to read sometimes, especially in the bright sun. And those lenses work really well for me as far as seeing and reading the dunes and seeing the contrast in the sand. Yeah, so having the right lens and also any of the goggles that say they're specifically for sand riding, they're gonna have that thicker foam. I personally use the 100% and they work great. The second tip is all about avoiding hazards. You wanna stay safe while you're out at the dunes. What can you tell us about that, Pat? Well, probably number one is making sure you can see where you're going and reading the terrain, reading the sand dunes. And the dunes bring out different things that maybe you don't experience in some of the other areas. And uh, we talked about uh, as you, there's usually a gradual side and a steep side to a sand dune. So if it looks really gradual and it looks like it might drop off, it's probably steep on the other side. And then on the, on the inverse side of that, if it's steep and it's probably gradual on the other side. But when you're attacking that steeper side of the dune, you want to make sure you carry a lot of speed at the bottom of the dune. That way, as you get towards the top, you have choices. You can turn out at the top, look over the edge, and make sure that everything's safe on the other side. There's no witches on the other side, or the slip faces aren't too steep. Um, or you can see another rider or someone driving a side-by-side -side coming on the other side. With flags are obviously really important to help with that visibility as well. So uh, really carrying a lot of speed at the bottom of dunes really helps uh, traverse the dunes and do it in a safe way. Yeah, I like that. And I guess for me, when we were out there, we had a rider that was coming up the dune and luckily he turned out the top. I was able to see him and uh, we didn't crash into each other. So that was good. Tip number three is to always use a spotter while you're jumping at the dunes. Now jumping can be one of the funnest things you do while you're out here. You can do big jumps, small jumps, whatever you prefer. You can even be creative with it, but you never know when someone else is coming. So that's why you wanna use a spotter and avoid an accident. Tip number four is all about adjustments. So there's a few different things you're gonna to have to do when you're riding out in the sand. And Pat, can you take us through that? Sure, number one is being comfortable on your machine. So our 450, for example, our YFC 450, has multiple adjustments for the handlebars um, in different positioning, different height. Uh, but of course, make sure your levers are in a good position. And uh, also our DYTR Nerf bars also have an adjustable foot peg position. So again, depending on your body size, your preference, make sure you're comfortable on your machine first. And there's a lot of adjustments built into the stock vehicles that really enhance that. Um, number two is probably suspension adjustments. Uh, again, both the YFZ and the Raptor have a lot of suspension adjustability. And the dunes out here in Oregon, for example, that can really bring out some different characteristics that you might not find in other riding areas. So play with your damping adjustments, um, turn them in, turn them out, and really try to find what you're looking for. And all those things were included in the price of your vehicle, so it really pays uh, to take advantage of them. I like it. Now, one more thing. So with the chain and sprockets, you gotta stay up on that adjustment, but the parking brake as well, like what causes that to go out of adjustment? Yeah, the sand is really tough on chain and sprockets and the parking brake. So you really want to pay attention. You want to make sure those are working really well, uh, but the sand is really rough on those. So you're going to want to probably maintain them a little bit more often than you would in a hard dirt condition. So pay attention to your parking brake adjustment and make sure your chain and sprockets are in good condition. Stay up on your adjustments. The fifth and final tip is all about body positions and when to sit or when to stand. So the sand dunes, it's a little bit different than riding in the dirt and you're gonna wanna use different positions at different times. So Pat, he's got a lot of experience out in the sand dunes. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I really recommend trying to stand as much as possible. You know, again, the, the seats on both the Raptor and the YFZ, they are really comfortable. They're, they're really shaped to make sure you can move your weight around, which is really important in the dunes. But keeping uh, 
in a standing position really helps you move quickly and get your body weight to the left to the right forward backwards because the dunes change very quickly obviously and there's a lot of up and down so keeping your weight high and using your legs to uh, absorb some of those impacts those big g outs that you get in the dunes really make a big difference so recommend standing as much as possible then you can throw your weight back if you're losing traction throw your weight back get traction in the rear tires and get up that dune so what about like side hills, that kind of thing? A lot of people struggle with that kind of stuff. What would yeah. you recommend there? That's definitely one of the more challenging components to riding in the dunes and standing up again. You can actually still keep your butt off the seat and get to the higher side of the dune. You always want to keep your weight to the uphill side, whether that's a side hill or a hill uh, straight up and down. So again, standing, keeping your weight off the seat can actually help. But of course, if you really need to, put your weight on the seat and get traction of the rear tires as well. But side healing is really an important factor in when you're in the dunes. It is. And the last and final tip, if you don't already know, when you're in a corner, you wanna sit down, keep your weight to the inside and keep the weight low. That's your top five ATV sand riding tips for beginners. Now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks Pat for all your expertise. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Thanks for watching.